Kerry here from Homestead Hot. Welcome to our homestead. In today's episode, we're going to show you our Yoder Smoker 640S and why, in my opinion, after using this thing a whole bunch and smoking some salmon and baking some bread, smoking a full roast turkey, making the most amazing burgers I've ever tasted, why this grill is the best grill in the world. Okay, wait a minute. Before we proceed, I know making such a bold claim is going to get under people's skin. People will say, sure, you're saying this is the best grill in the world because they're paying you to say that. And that is false. We are not being paid to review this grill. Yoder Smoker did, however, provide us the grill for an honest review, and that is just what I will provide. I've really put this grill through the ringer, cooking all sorts of meals, some of the best meals I've ever eaten. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the pros and the cons and why I think this grill is the best grill in the world. And I'm going to show you some highlights from some of the most amazing food I've ever cooked on this grill. But before we go too far, let's quickly talk about what a pellet grill is. Oh man, it smells good. This pellet smoker runs on wood pellets. You fill them up in this here hopper. You set your temperature, you press a button, and it auto ignites, and it regulates the temperature. Say you want to slow smoke a brisket. For 20 hours, you could set the temperature, and it'll slowly feed the pellets through to maintain that temperature for you. We are so excited. We just got this huge shipment. The weight on this is over 550 pounds, made in the USA. This is our Yoder Smoker. So initially I planned to do a big unboxing and instructional video on how to set this thing up, but frankly, it was too easy and I don't want to bore you all. My main takeaway is just follow the directions and do it in the proper order. I had the urge to just tear into this box because I wanted to get going with my Yoder smoker, but there's a certain way to do it with the box up, you build the base and then you attach it. Make sure you follow those directions and it'll all go smoothly. Look how heavy duty that thing is. That's like twice the size of a regular grill grate that you have. And this is just the shelf that goes on the outside of it. So this is pretty cool. There's a little sticker right here that says D. And then this actually has it cut out right on the metal D. And this one has it cut out right on the metal C. So you can't mess it up. So I use a 516 socket and attach these legs. You basically just build this simple base and then you attach the base to the center part of the grill. The cool thing is the grill is all assembled. I was worried the hopper would have to be assembled and all the little pieces of the grill. Nope, you just put this base together, attach it to the grill, and you're ready to get grilling. Keep in mind this grill is well built. This thing's built like a tank. It's a couple hundred pounds, so you do want to be careful at this step. This thing is awesome. Check out the shelf. Man, this thing is so heavy duty. So next up, I'm going to install this heat diffuser, and this comes with a door that opens up over the burner area so that you can, you can set this up in multiple configurations. And when you remove this door, you could do a direct grill where you could grill steaks and actually get the heat come up through here. But so you don't have to remove the whole thing, they put this nice door on it. So this is going to go inside here. that and it tilts this way uh, because the the grease bucket is over there that collects any of the drippings now I've got the heat diffuser in place with this door that comes open now I'm gonna put the grates on so 
So now I've got the basic smoker setup configuration, but the really great thing with this Yoder smoker is you have all sorts of different configurations you can use. Right now it's set up for smoking, but I can remove these two grates here and put this heavy duty cast iron skillet. So now in this, in this configuration, I got this nice heavy duty cast iron surface to grill or cook on. So I thought I opened everything up and then I found this box sitting there, charcoal mesh hat. Check this out. Two of them. Yoder smoker hat. This is awesome. Get rid of this one. Oh, it's a nice hat too. Check that out. All right, so we're all set up now. Now I'm gonna put some pellets in it. I'm gonna run it for the first time. I've got these cherry pellets I'm gonna try. This thing smells so good right now. So enough of the overview. I'm anxious to start smoking some food and see how it tastes. I'm putting this thing through the ringer. I'm gonna smoke with it, direct grill with it. We're even gonna bake in it. So let's put this thing through the ringer and I'm gonna show you some highlights now. All right, so I got this nice piece of salmon. I let this marinate overnight. I've got some dill, some olive oil on it. This is gonna be the first thing I cook on my Yoder smoker. So I got my temperature probe and it comes through here. They got this handy little door going through. And then I've got it going right into the salmon. So once that hits 140 degrees, I'm going to get a notification on my phone through the app. So I got my first piece of meat, perfectly cooked piece of salmon off of my Yoder smoker. So my first meal is this smoked salmon and it turned out perfect. It's nice and moist, perfectly cooked, just over 140 degrees. The cool thing with the Yoder smoker is, and I wanted to show you guys real quick, the app is awesome. I used this the other day to cook salmon, and you can create these different programs. This is called a drive program. And I made this one up, it took me like two minutes. I just followed the example they had in their instruction manual. And you can set these different steps. So I'm gonna take these burgers out and put them in the smoker, so it's gonna go through that step, then that step. Once it reaches 145, the grill's gonna say, these burgers are done, lower the temperature to 180 again until I have time to go out there and pull the burgers off the grill. The cool thing is, this app will send me an alert, a little notification on my phone, once this program is completed running, and I'll know the burgers are done and I can go out there. Oh man, that smells good. All right, the program finished running. I'm shutting it down now. Man, these burgers look good. They got nice coloring on them from that smoky flavor. Hour and 20 minutes and a nice low smoke and then we brought the temperature up. I've got some cheese on there now. I'm gonna pull these off and let them rest for like 10 minutes. The cheese will melt while they're resting and I'm not gonna bite into these till they've rested for a little while. Take them into the house and we're gonna eat them. Oh, that looks good. Look at how juicy it is. You see the juice? That is so good. Look how juicy that is. You can taste that nice smoky flavor. The buns and burgers turned out really good. Entirely cooked on our Yoder smoker. Jen baked the hamburger buns and then I smoked these hamburger patties and then seared them and they turned out good. They've got a nice smoky taste to it. You can see kind of a reddish color from the smoke and you can really taste it too. It tastes really good. For an ultimate test, I'm making up a brine and I'm gonna smoke a turkey. After letting it sit overnight, it's time to throw this thing on the smoker. All right, so we've had our Yoder smoker for some time now and I'm putting it through the paces. I cooked smoked salmon for the first time. I smoked some burgers the other day. They turned out amazing. And now I'm smoking an entire turkey. Never done this before. Hoping it's gonna turn out good. So I'll show you guys how it turned out. I'm gonna put the temperature probe in there. I'm gonna cook it to perfection. So our turkey's been roasting for a couple hours at 300 degrees. Per the temperature probe, we're at 141. I'm gonna take a peek now, it smells amazing. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's looking really good. This 
This thing is at 162 degrees and just about ready to be finished. She's a beaut, Clark. She's a beaut. So now the question is, will this turkey taste as good as it looks? I was able to answer that question in short order after carving into this turkey. Nice, juicy, perfectly cooked turkey. Absolutely delicious. One of the best turkeys, if not one of the best meals I've ever eaten. All right, so now we have our Yoder smoker set up for grilling. We're gonna grill two steaks on here, a ribeye and a New York strip. They're not very big steaks, but they should turn out pretty good. One's for me, and the other one is for my cameraman, Alyssa. 600 degrees so we can really sear those steaks. So we're gonna close this up and let it get up to heat. Alyssa, quick interview. What do you think of our Yoder Smoker Grill so far? We've cooked so much stuff on it. it be cooks, honest, be honest. It cooks really fast. How does the food taste? Smoky. It worked. Okay, ready? Let's go. Everyone be quiet. Wait. <laughs> Where are we going? All right, so Alyssa and I just finished searing our first steak on our Yoder 640. We did the direct grill method. We got some beautiful grill marks on it. It cooked really quickly. That thing got up to like 700 degrees, the temperature reading said. That's one of my biggest things that I like about this smoker is I've cooked a lot of steaks over the years, and every time you go to a fancy steak restaurant, you ask yourself, how do they make their steak taste so good? It's because they can get that really good sear and that high heat. Well, we can do that with the Yoder Smoker 640. Right, Alyssa? Now let's taste it and see if it actually tastes good. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's better than the steak place. It's better than the steak place! How tender it is. You can cut it with a butter knife. That's a fork. The other thing that I'm really impressed with is this was about the cheapest, worst steak you could get. It's really hard to get meat right now, as all of y'all probably know. I'm gonna cook a big uh, tenderloin in this, filet mignon. That's the next thing I wanna cook. But for a cheap steak, man, this thing tastes really good. Perfectly cooked. Now, I could have used the um, temperature probe, but I knew it would cook so quickly because it's such a small steak at a high temperature, and we got it cooked just how I like it, perfectly medium rare. All right, so now let's talk about the cons of this grill. Like I told you at the beginning of the video, I'm a straight shooter, I'm gonna tell it like it is. I tried to find cons in this thing as hard as I could, and there just aren't many. I guess the only big con that I could come up with is the cost. These grills are expensive. On the flip side of that though, they're made so well. This thing is built like a tank. It's super heavy duty and it's made in the United States. So I'm happy to pay more money for that. I honestly think I'm gonna have this grill for the rest of my life and be able to use it versus some cheap grill that's made in China that's gonna end up rusting and falling apart. You get what you pay for. This is an expensive grill, but it's got all the technology built into it. It's a couple hundred pounds, and I'm gonna have it for the rest of my life. So I know when I say this is the best grill in the world, some people are gonna get upset. They're gonna say, well, that's not the best grill in the world for me. That's understandable. I should say this is the best grill in the world for our situation. We're homesteaders, we live on a 20 acre homestead. 
And some of the reasons this is the best grill for me is number one, the versatility. You can smoke in this. You could sear steaks in this. You could bake bread in this. Uh, there's a griddle. You could cook a full breakfast on the cooking griddle, cast iron griddle. So it's very, very versatile. That's one of the reasons it's the best grill in the world. Number two, you can get this thing super hot and bake in it. Now we live in a homestead, it's summertime right now, and we don't wanna heat up our entire house by baking inside. So we could just bake bread and things outside, keep the temperature down. Uh, third reason, this thing is built like a tank. This is 10 gauge heavy duty steel. When I look at this steel, it kinda reminds me of our wood stove inside. The wood stove inside our house is heavy duty steel. The thing is super heavy to move. This thing is made of heavy duty steel. It's built like a tank and it's great for a couple reasons. Number one, it's gonna last forever. I'm never gonna have to purchase another grill. I'm gonna have this grill for the rest of my life. Number two, it retains the heat. Because the steel is so thick, it really retains the heat versus a cheap stove that's got thin sheet metal on it that ends up rusting out. This thing is super heavy duty. Another reason it's the best grill in the world is the technology. So this has Wi-Fi built into it. It's got the temperature probes. It takes the guesswork out of it. In my opinion, one of the hardest things about cooking or grilling is just getting the temperature right. That's where most people screw up. They overcook their steak. They cook it for too long. It's dried out. It doesn't taste good. This takes the guesswork out of it. You got the temperature probe right in the steak. It alerts you on your iPhone or your Android phone, your smartphone, tells you exactly when the steak is cooked to temperature. You can pull it off, let it rest. You can get perfect meat. Really important, especially if you're cooking some expensive cuts of meat. I would say maybe the number one reason this is the best grill in the world, in my opinion, is how the food turns out. It tastes amazing. I've cooked on charcoal grills. I've cooked on propane grills. I've cooked over wood fired grills. Nothing has tasted better than what the results I get from this Yoder smoker. You get that nice smoky taste with the temperature probes in there. You cook it to perfection so it's not dry or overcooked. By far the best results, best tasting meat I've ever had came off of this grill. Not all those other grills I've used over the years. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. In the next video, we're going to show you how we baked some hamburger buns and smoked some hamburger patties in our Yoder smoker.